Hi there everyone, welcome to another Ultramoon Wi-Fi battle. This is a battle I had recently on one of my streams against Scrappy Coco, who told me he doesn't know much about competitive battling, but he wants to have a battle with no legends single battle. And I was like, well, alright, let's give it a go. And we see he has quite the hardcore team there. I believe that's free... No? Free OUs? Two UUs? If Muck is UU, or maybe it's RU. And the the um, Kangaskhan possibly being an Uber. I forget what non-Mega Kangaskhan is, but um, but yeah, let's give it a go. I'm rocking that team I used before, the uh, lovely Assault Want, the very colourful team in my opinion. Scrappy Coco. So I lead with Nancy. You will know why at this point, I think. As he leads with Swampert. A shiny one of that. Can't say I'm a fan of the shiny Swampert. Uh, I think blue is just much cooler, you know? As we see, it is actually the Mega Swampert. Does surprise me a bit, considering he had no rain setters on his team. But what's he gonna do? I set up the Sticky Web. I'm speeding, of course. And he goes for... Stealth Rock. Hmm, interesting. It's a very bulky Pokemon Mega Swampert, so that does make sense. But now what's it going to do? Let's see how much damage I can do with a Bug Buzz. Oof, the bulk on that thing. Yeah, I don't even do uh, half HP. Looks like a free hit KO. While I could stay in and do more damage, I'd like to keep my thing alive for a bit longer. So I switch into Sarina. Thinking, not much that a Swampert can do to me. You know, I actually forget Sarina's base speed. Is it 70? And I believe Mega Swampert's is 70. But we see it outspeeds me. Mind you, I'm not sure if my Sarina is max speed or not. Very unfortunate, one hit KO's move an Ice Punch, which means those rocks are on the field to stay. So... May as well switch into Matarasu now, considering it's gonna take that damage at some point. And I know I probably outspeed a base 70 mon, despite me not being max speed investment. And we're able to hit straight away with a Giga Drain and restore all our HP. Well, nearly all. He now switches into his Alolan Muck. And now they are specially defensive, but there ain't real there ain't really any much point in me switching out a Matarasu here. So I'll just go for the Quiver Dance. And we'll see how much we can do with our strong moves. We see a Stone Edge come out. I was expecting a knockoff, so that's a surprise, but still, there isn't much point in me switching, considering the Stealth Rocks are up and here to stay. So I'll go for my strong, strong move, but with that special defense, it simply does not do much. And he is able to connect Stone Edge that time and take me out. Unfortunate, but now I switch into Mama Swine. I'll be able to hit that thing hard with Stab Earthquake. But he actually predicts that and switches out into his dragon. A very good idea. This guy this guy definitely knows his stuff when it comes to battling. So I go for the knockoff, thinking maybe it's got a weakness policy on there and I wanna break its multi-scale. But we see it actually had the muscle band. That's interesting. He to he later told me he hadn't he wasn't sure which item to give it, so he gave it that, which does boost physical moves by 10%. But, considering he didn't Dragon Dance, we see I outspeed, and I'm able to go for the Icicle Crash, which does connect, luckily. In comes Kangamama. Now, is it going to be a Mega? Of course not, because we saw Swampert Mega Evolve. I want to keep my Mamoswine around, so I'll switch into a Nancy, who will go down and waste this thing's fake out. And that's exactly what we saw happen. So I bring back in Mamoswine here. Knowing that he can't fake out me and I should be able to do decent damage with Earthquake. But unfortunately we see that Sucker Punch and it does take me out. Silly me, I should have remembered that. But then I probably wouldn't have thought it would have taken me out. So I go into Togekiss here. Uh, this battle ain't looking good. Most of my mono are dead. And, uh, this is my Cleric Togekiss. We see the Z-move come out from the Kangaskhan. 
I guess that's Breakneck Blitz, and I guess that's going to do a hefty amount of damage to me. However, I am fairly defensive. Not max defense, but fairly. How much is this going to do? Oof. Does a nice chunk of damage, but I am able to live it, surprisingly. But that's okay with me. I think regular Kangaskhan doesn't have the attack stat of a god. I go for the wish here. Thinking, right, even if he does take me out now, I can switch into... Like, I can go into for alligator. But, turns out he went for the Sucker Punch and does not take me out. So I decide to see how much damage I can do with a Dazzling Gleam. But he switches himself out and goes into Gengar. Now, I'm pretty sure Gengar is going to take me out even with my minimal special defense investment. And my recovered HP from the Wish. But if I'm able, I'll go for a Wish again. And hopefully, if he does take me out, it can go to for Alligator. But we see he does just plain out outspeed me here. And that's possible considering my, I don't have much investment. And we see it is holding the Life Orb and not the Choice Scarf. It just happened to outspeed me despite being caught in the Sticky Web. Unfortunate, but that's how we go. Argo, my last Pokemon. Can he pull it through for us? I know Gengar would do heavy damage with a Life Orb to me, so I'm just going to go for my Earthquake. We do see out I outspeed, but we do get disabled, which is unfortunate considering one of his uh, last Pokemon is Muck, who is weak to ground. However, if I Dragon Dance and go for a Liquidation, I should be able to take it out. But how much damage is he going to be able to do to me in the meantime? So we now outspeed everything, and he goes for the Poison Jab. Is he going to get that Poison as well? Luckily, no. I think that cinched it here for me. I go for the liquidation, and is it enough to take it out? Yes, it is, thanks to that sheer force ability. I'm not actually holding the life orb, I'm holding a lumberry. I hate being statisted. As in comes Kangamama. I think a liquidation will take it out from this range. But will a combination of f uh, Fake Out and Sucker Punch take me out? I think I should live a Sucker Punch here, but... I'm not the best judge, but he doesn't even go for it. Very fortunate for me, able to take that out nicely. Considering how much damage Fake Out did, I think I would have been able to survive a Sucker Punch. Now, unless this Volnona is Charm Focus Sashed, I should outspeed it and I should one hit KO with a Liquidation. Here we go, Liquidation comes out. And it goes down. Good job for Alligator, pulling this battle back. Despite my opponent saying he's not very uh, experienced in competitive battles, he sure had me on the ropes for a while there. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed.